Well here we are with my Acer 6120 now fully up and running. Um, at the moment it's currently doing an update for a Social Jogger which I find is a pretty cool app although I can't get Facebook to work. Um, what I have found you can fully customise the keyboard with its skins. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But when you go into this option here, obviously you've got your audio, you've got your skin. You would hit browse and search any um, logo or customised logos. There's a lot of guys that have made their own. Uh, there is one that has been made by one gentleman which I can share if you need it. Just let me know. He's actually made a, a logo here. Uh, he's also got an i7 logo. He emotes an i5 processor with an NVIDIA. Which again, it's not in the video, it's Intel HD graphics. But I like the fact that it's a, a whole black background, so it makes the keyboard look a lot better. Uh, there is a, a few bugs that I have noticed, but again, these are noted, everybody knows about these. Um, I have, um, here we go, get a social jogger there. I have downloaded one bit of uh, software which is very, very good. It's actually called, um, it's down here. It's Fusion Desktop, and uh, what that allows you to do is actually, as you can see here, it lets you choose, it actually does let you choose uh, what like wallpaper you like in the top, what wallpaper you like in the bottom. Uh, it also does allow you to, when you're booting up the laptop, rather than having a, a dull Windows 7 login background, wallpaper allows you to change all that as well, which is very, very good. Um, the keyboard, I was a bit optimistic but the keyboard I think is very very good. Um, what I found out as well was this is very very handy the USB uh, card reader which comes with it because obviously it doesn't come with the card reader but this is very very handy I've got my obviously my digital camera or my SLR which I plug into here plugs into there and I'm, I'm okay with that so USB 3 very very fast. The other small thing here which uh, turns out to be a, an actual DC power filler and apparently there was a lot of problems without this when people would plug in directly into the, the, into the machine that your touch was getting affected with, I don't know, electromagnetic, I have no idea. But this part here fixes all these issues. There's no touching where I'm not meant to be touching. You've probably seen it in other videos. Um, in terms of its speed, I am very surprised with the speed of it. The speed of it is very, very fast. Um, I did make a, a mess around with scrapbook and that was just me taking pictures which then show along here all your pictures along this top bit here it does take a while to load because I've actually got about four things running at once here but it's still going okay so you can actually take a picture and you can manipulate it whatever you want to do then you you can actually make a good collage not you probably want to but I'll just be messing around with it see what I can do with it but no it's very 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 good very impressed Um. The other thing which I thought was cool as well is the one thing a lot of people think is amazing is when you actually go to your touch browser. The touch browser does go across the two screens. Whether or not I'll do it just now, well, it will, no problem. You got your Google at the top. You can't even see in Google because obviously it's right at the bottom. And obviously you've got your Google there. But if I then go down to the bottom here and click on the star, brings up your favourites, but not only that as well, if you hit history, Brings up all your history so you can quite quickly just like XDA developers website which I'm on a hell of a lot because I'm an Android user and I do a lot of routing and stuff. You can see that the actual website goes across the two pages. You can actually scroll up and down across the two pages which is a very very neat trick. And it's so easy to access each page that you've ever looked at. The keyboard button on the side I think is a lot better than trying to do the palm thing. The palm thing works okay but it's a bit annoying if you've got it on your lap and you try to hold it with your left hand. So you just tap that with your right hand and there's the keyboard. It's very responsive which was a big surprise to me. Uh, I have had Windows 8 on this but I would strongly recommend that you buy another hard drive or have another hard drive, plug it in and install Windows 8. I found getting the the Windows 8 across the two screens is quite easy at first but then you lose the whole virtual keyboard because that's not suitable yet or even working on Windows 8 yet. Um, but other than that, no, I'm very impressed with it. It's a very good machine. Um, it does say it could take up to 8 gig of RAM as maximum but can actually take 16 no problem. Um, 
But that's about it, really. I don't think there's much else to say about the fact that I'm just actually I'm very impressed with it. I will be using it for uh, changing and updating photos and things like that. Um, if there's anything else you want to know or any questions you want to have, because this is quite a, probably one of the most recent updates on YouTube with regards to one of these machines because it's not been out for a while, but I managed to get a brand new one for £669, which could, did come with a card reader, the 8 gig upgrade, the power filter, um, what else? I think that was it, was that it? Yeah, that was just basically what it came in, but it was a very good package for what I got. Um, but no, very, very good laptop, very impressed. Um, if you want to know of any of the software that I've managed to get running, like Social Jogger is the only one I'm having a problem with at the moment, so if anybody out there that's got a fix, I got Social Jogger just now, which apparently is a, a known problem. YouTube works no problem, Flickr works no problem, however, when I go to log into Facebook, it comes up on the screen, I go yes, continue, Facebook, Facebook is selected, and hit login, comes up the normal login here, and so if I just Basically log in, it'll come up the keyboard option. If I just push that, I'll try that again. So Facebook. Facebook you see the keyboard then comes at the bottom and that goes up the top now. So if I just quickly type in my password to Facebook. And log in. You see it comes up every time it comes up. An error occurred, please try later. So I go, oh, right, okay. So I hit OK. And it comes up my Facebook, no problem, so I'm on my Facebook. However, you can see it, I've not got a, I've got a red dot here. A red dot for YouTube and a green dot for Flickr, because that's the one that's logged in at the moment. YouTube I can log in, no problem with Facebook. I've got the page up, but it won't turn green. And then if I close this, it keeps coming up, please log into Facebook. So there's an error there, I don't know how to fix that. People say there's a way of fixing it, but... You can see my YouTube one's fine, and this is one of fine as well. But I just don't know how to fix that. I'm still looking into that just now. So if you want a, a good laptop uh, with multitasking, which is what this does clearly with no problem at all, it's very, very quiet. Um, on the bottom right, I've even got the widget that comes with the machine, which is for the i5. don't know if you can see that very well. There you go. So that actually tells you this bar runs up and down. It's obviously under a lot of... Uh, Problems and things like that, or when it's running to its max, but or not, it's fine. I don't have any problems with it. Um, I will put uh, downloadable links on the description for the Fusion desktop, which I think is very, very good. Just purely because it allows you to change your wallpapers between the two, um, and also the link for the keyboard skins, uh, which I have found out and about there. Um, any questions? Uh, please leave a comment or send me a an email uh, to a gzy79 at gmail.com. Thanks, then.